Seriously, Paul needs an intervention. He can't quit Deshaun on his own. First step, some mini have a problem, Paul. Okay, so I do have a problem, Sean, in your opinion. No, I mean, if... Ooh, see, you're talking around it. Listen, this doesn't have to be an intervention. But Paul, you, listen, you... I care about you. Okay, thank Everyone you. Everyone in this room cares about you, <laughs> thank which is you. just me, but I care about you. Okay, so that means that you're, you're sort of hinting that you're concerned, but we're not quite at intervention phase yet. <laughs> you're there's, been a, <laughs> there's been a lot of talk about peeping over fences oh, yeah. and, uh, you know, some real voyeuristic behavior on your part <laughs> during this football season when it comes to Deshaun I I just I just want to nip it in the bud if okay we can. it's okay. not quite maybe at intervention level but we just need to have a serious uh I want Deshaun to fight this I'm sorry what you know like what happened to democracy the American ideal you want the truth to be heard right like on Friday I thought he was a piece of crap but now that I realize that if he fights this that he might give the Texans a better draft pick I want him to fight this for democracy for America. What's wrong with that? That's not that's this isn't an addict. I'm not I'm not an addict. No. I'm fine. You can stop anytime you want. Yeah, anytime I want. We've been joking about this over the course of this morning. I might have an addiction to talking about Deshaun Watson. I think I might have an addiction to just talking about my sports exes. And no one likes that guy, right? That person's the worst. Yeah, you know. Oh, old baby. She was so hot. Dead ass. Oh, man. I'll never forget it. She was so sweet to me, so kind, so tender. She cheated on you. No, man. You just don't get it. You don't get what we had. It was special. But I hate her, and I hope she dies. Like, that's generally the range of conversation that you're going to hear from somebody who talks about their ex. Well, just like with Deshaun Watson, I, maybe I do need to a intervention when it comes to talking about Watson. I do think it is, as a texter pointed out, a little bit relevant just because of the fact that they still have draft picks of the Cleveland Browns going forward. But I am 100% addicted to talking about James Harden. I can't help it. I could not stand him here, and I'm annoyed that I wasn't here when he left because I couldn't stand on the table and pat myself on the back for being the one person who thought that he sucked. I hated everything about the way he played. Didn't like his attitude. I didn't like his lack of effort on defense. But he was so good as a post defender. For what? Two possessions a game? Shut up about that bogus crap. I saw some of the the red the red-headed psychopaths online who are the worst Rockets fans who were like saying like I can't believe people are saying Luka Doncic is better than James Harden. Why are you still defending him, first of all? And then they're bringing up, like, yeah, his post-defense. Shut up about his post-defense. Just because he has a huge ass does not make him a good post-defender. The only thing sadder than you talking about your sports exes in a uh, kind of demeaning way is the people that like still somehow think James Harden is on the Rockets. Yes, <laughs> that, and they're that rooting still for him. Go to bat for James Harden every night. I'm like, you don't have to do this. Like, just before the playoffs start, let me just give you the exit ramp of like, you don't have to defend this you guy. You don't. Anymore. You don't have to anymore. But I feel like I need to do this over and over again. That's Sean Mays behind the glass. You're so right. There are so many people that are like this. And here's the thing. He is not playing well in Philadelphia right now. And I am. this is something I missed from Sunday because on Sunday I was so transfixed by what took place at the Oscars, at the Academy Awards. But it's fine because Will Smith put out a notes apology, so it's over. No one Water under the bridge. It's totally forgotten now, you know? Who Just, cares? Yeah, no, no one cares anymore. James Harden played against the Phoenix Suns on Sunday night. The Suns are probably the best team in basketball right now. If you have watched them, Chris Paul has totally transformed the attitude of that team. And if you've watched Devin Booker, who I am obsessed with just because I'm like, I want to be him. I mean, he is mean out there. He is barking at people, and he is hanging out with Kendall Jenner. Pretty sweet life. Drives some cool cars, too. Absolutely. Lots of things going in his favor. They were bullying James Harden in this game, the Suns, when they played the Sixers. They were looking for him every single time they could find a matchup with him. They were looking for him. They were finding him. Chris Paul, who hates Doc Rivers, was looking over to the sideline and or excuse me, yeah, to the sideline. And you saw him like making eye contact with Doc Rivers. You saw Devin Booker like laughing at some of Harden's BS flailing, trying to get fouls. It was great. 
And after the game, Harden, who did not play well, 14 points in nearly 40 minutes of a game against a real basketball team, a night where he was 2 of 11 from the field, 8 of 8 from the free throw line, he had this to say after the game where he was bullied. A couple of calls that didn't get called. Of course he did. God, he's the worst. He brings up the calls right away. Eight of eight from the free throw line. A couple of calls didn't happen. A couple of just missed shots, and I've got to be more aggressive. Those latter things might be true. I can't wait for the playoffs. I can't wait. Those Philadelphia psychopaths are going to turn on him so quickly, and it's going to be delicious to watch them all rise up and change their tune on this guy. And then he'll leave in the offseason because he hasn't signed that extension yet. He'll go somewhere else. He'll get the bag. He'll enjoy his life. He is succeeding at life. I just hate watching him play, and I love that things seem to be catching up with him in terms of his ability on the court. 